One of the important things about the saints in the Eastern Orthodox understanding uh, is I would I like to say that the saints are always locally sourced. The recognition of saints always begins in the place where they lived or worked or ministered or died. So it has to be locally sourced because it begins with people who, who lived with or near or were connected to people that lived near these examples, these great examples of discipleship. And because you saw the, the, the sanctity in them, the holiness, the presence of Christ in them, this is how the, the movement begins for someone to be recognized as a saint. That eventually, if, if, that, if there's an authentic holiness to that person, then the, the, their recognition will, will spread beyond the local community. When that spreads far enough and it lasts long enough, it becomes this enduring sense of honoring this person. That is when they are formally considered to be added to the calendar of saints by a service a process that we call glorification. In the West, it's called canonization. They're added to the canon of the saints. In the East, we call it glorification. And on page 68 of Essential Orthodox Christian Beliefs, there's a very important note at how this, what this is all about. Uh, in the act of canonization, glorification, quote, the bishops are not making the person a saint, but simply recognizing their sanctity and declaring to their faithful that this person is indeed holy, is in heaven, is worthy of imitation, and that their prayers can be invoked liturgically. The bishops, therefore, in their act of canonization, simply respond to the groundswell of support and devotion already present among the faithful. So we don't, uh, we don't do this top down where we pick people and say, that's a saint, this is a saint, but it always comes from the grassroots up. Thanks for listening to this episode of my podcast. If you'd like to learn more about Eastern Orthodox Christianity, but aren't near an Orthodox church, you might be interested in the Fellowship of St. Theophon the Recluse, an online community for seekers and inquirers all in that same situation. We have members in the U.S., Latin America, the British Isles, Africa, and Australia. For more information, message me or send me an email. Until next time, take care and God bless.